What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're looking good. Hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Am I the Asshole? Because you just might be. Um, uh, apologies if you hear any noise. There, There is a vent. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Creations. I react to movie and TV show trailers. I also do Am I the Assholes? And sometimes react to random things on YouTube. If you would like to follow me on any of my social medias, you can go ahead and do that at JOKV underscore Creations uh, on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. And Creations underscore Reacts on IG. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this Am I the Asshole because you just might be. Am I the Asshole for refusing to buy my roommate new meals after my cat knocks them off the counter? It says asshole and with that question, yes. But we're going to see. My 23 female roommate Rose, 24 female male preps for her entire week of lunches and dinners. She always waits till late Sunday night to do all the cooking so often she'll leave the containers to cool on the counter overnight because it's too hot to put in the fridge right away after she goes to bed. Two months ago, I moved my two cats into the apartment. Now in my household, I don't allow them on the counters, but if there is food left open, they will try to get into it. I explained that she should be aware that the cats might try to eat her food or might knock it over if she leaves it all out overnight but she brushed me off saying it was fine i told her that it was only a matter of time before it happened okay so in my opinion from this so far it seems like she has been in this apartment if i'm not mistaken it seems like she's been in this apartment and she just recently moved her pets into the apartment so the person's been doing this previously so she's a so Peel has is like aware that she's been doing the meal preps, all that stuff, but and there hasn't been any changes. But she's just recently about to move her animals in here. Mm. All right. Well, it finally happened. I woke up Monday morning and the kitchen is a mess because the cats had knocked over several containers onto the floor. I cleaned up and put the rest of the food that still looked fine into the fridge. Overall, out of the seven lunches and seven dinners, about half was ruined. When Rose got up, I explained what happened and apologized. She flipped out on me because she can't afford to buy more food for the week. Rose demanded that I buy more food because it was my animals that caused this. But I also can't afford to buy her more food uh meals out of the own out of my own budget i told her i wouldn't be replacing anything because she was being irresponsible with her own food by leaving it out and i had already warned her that this was this might happen she's still furious with me and some of my friends have said that i'm obligated to replace her food since it was my cat's fault and did the damage am i the asshole i feel like this is self-explanatory yes you are because the thing is, she's been doing this prior, so she really shouldn't have to change what she's been doing for however long at this point, which you're fully aware of. You know, she shouldn't have to change that. She's been doing it. It has been an issue. The thing is, the only thing that changed from that time to this is that you've now moved in your animals that you know do this. The thing is, even if you inform her, she might not do that. The thing is, it seems like, and I could be wrong, I don't know how their apartment's set up, but I assume they have rooms... I'm making the assumption, so please take it with a grain of salt. I assume they have their own rooms. So in this process, you know that she's leaving this food out to cool down because she can't put it in the fridge. I would assume you're putting your cat stuff, you know, in your room. And you're putting your cats before you go to sleep in your room. I feel like this is a, a very important thing to do since you know they'll get on the counters, do this, that, and the third. So, yeah, it's it's technically, at the end of the day, it is your fault. Those are your cats. You know that they do this. Yeah, she might not change fully what she's doing because, you know, she's been doing it before you moved your animals in there. So, you know, it's like, yeah, it's your fault. It's, uh, obviously, leave me your opinions, but my opinion is she is an asshole. You should be replacing it. But the thing is, you, I feel like you, the only reason you didn't because, yeah, you couldn't afford it. That's the only reason you didn't. I feel like if you did have the money, you would have done that. But because you don't. You know, that's the only reason why you didn't. So that's just my opinion. Do I think she's an asshole? Yes. Next. Am I the asshole for having sex with someone who is in a relationship? Everyone sucks is what it says. And probably. Probably. Yeah. That's, it seems like everybody sucks. So I'm very curious. So there's this girl in my class who I know is in a serious relationship with an acquaintance of mine. Me and the girl get along with flirt, flirt. We flirt occasionally, innocent fun. Okay, all right. 
bumped into her at a party. I made her a compliment. She took my hand. We danced. Things only kept escalating from there. I wouldn't say I put effort into seducing her or anything. It just happened. We both made it happen. Okay. Next morning, I told her boyfriend about our little incident. Let's just say he didn't take it too well. Now he's called me an asshole and is most likely plotting to murder me. Mm -hmm. The way I see it, she is the one who had an obligation to be loyal, not me. For I am single. I get to fuck whomever I please. Boyfriend, however, has a very different view of things. Uh, I'm gonna stop there for one second. I I'm kind of in the same boat with that with that statement. Um, not from the boyfriend, from the random dude, because it's like, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what the single person is doing, honestly, in my opinion. They could be flirting with the person, doing whatever. The thing is, the person that is in a relationship, if they are allowing them to do this stuff and they are fully aware that they have a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, yeah, they're in the wrong. I don't, like, obviously the person who is flirting, who is single, who is aware that there is a relationship, they're also somewhat in the wrong. But the thing is, at the end of the day, they're single. They can do what the what they want. You might not like it, but they can do what they want. It's the person who's in a relationship that's supposed to be loyal, that's supposed to be, you know, in the relationship with that person and not canoodling or whatnot with somebody else. So, mm. the girl in question is quite flirtatious with a lot of people. If she wouldn't have cheated on her partner with me, she'd have likely done it with someone else. From my point of view, I might as well be the one to reap the benefits. I do believe cheating is immoral, but am I the asshole for making it happen? Uh, my opinion, does it say, it says everyone sucks. And, and it's technically, yeah, because he sucks too, because he also knows that she's in a relationship. But I also say he, like I say he, not the asshole, with a little asshole in it because it's like you knew that they were in a relationship but i think that the boyfriend mainly the girlfriend uh the boyfriend for coming at him sideways well you know what he was an acquaintance so he at least knew of him so it's not like he was just uh unknowledgeable of this situation so yeah he mm, 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 goodness gracious so he's the asshole for knowing and still doing but to be fair he's single so that's why i say he's also not the asshole like i say not the asshole but with a slither asshole so that's why everybody does suck everybody kind of do suck you know i think the girlfriend is mainly one because she seems like she's flirtatious and then even if she's not she allowed all this to happen she's the one in the relationship she shouldn't allow it to happen she has full of control if she wants to or not and she said i want to so she's the asshole and the boyfriend I don't honestly I think the boyfriend is not necessarily the asshole in a lot of it but she, he shouldn't murder him obviously that's wrong wrong don't do that um and you know he's right up right for being upset with this person it seems like they're acquaintances if anything um so it's like yeah you knew of the situation so you know it's right for him to be upset upset at the dude now do I think it should be all on the dude no because he's single it should be mainly on the girl because she's she's the one in the relationship with you and then if you, if the boyfriend knew that she was a little flirtatious and whatnot, yeah. A, God dang, everyone does suck. Everyone sucks. Everyone just sucks. Again, main character, main person, not too much. It's just he sucks because he knew that this person was in a relationship and he actually was acquaintances with the other person. So that's why he sucks as well a little bit. Just a little bit. Not fully, but a little bit. That's just my opinion. Everyone sucks just a little bit not the main character kind of next am i the asshole if i don't want to have a relationship with my son it says asshole but i'm very curious because i'm just curious we're we gonna see back when i was young there was a, this girl which was kind of sexy and i was a horny guy so we had sex and she got pregnant now i didn't want to have a boy but she did so decided that she would raise him and I would pay child support. Okay, neither of us wanted to be together, so this wasn't a problem, and only thing I knew about the baby was that he had been born and was with his mother. All right, so starting off, seemed like they were just sexy, ended up getting pregnant, she wanted to keep it, he didn't, they come to a compromise, he'll just pay child support and she'll raise it by himself. All right, all right, you know, honestly, not too bad. That, that seemed like, a, at least y'all came to a conclusion with that. I paid child support and I never thought about it. Fast forward 17 years and now I have a stable relationship and suddenly get a call from the mother. I initially thought it's because some problem with the payment, but no, it was because my son wants to know his dad. 
I told her that I wouldn't do it under no circumstances. She got really upset, but eventually give gave up. Okay. But then the kid called me. He seemed pretty scared of calling me, like if he didn't knew what to do. He asked me if I was his dad and if we could meet. Now, I don't have a problem with the kid, but for me, it was just an expensive sperm donation. Kind of, yeah. Like, it seemed like everything went well. The only difference with this, like, because I assume with sperm donation, you know, if you're, you're a single child, you're a single mother, you're going to be raising that child by yourself with no child support. Only difference with this is that it seemed like y'all came to a conclusion you would just be paying child support. So the only difference from this is that once she knows who the person is and she was willing to still be this, you know, single mother and she's getting paid as well. She's getting help. So there is a big difference with this. She's aware of who the sperm donor is, which I mean, I think the people at the, just do the people at the place. I think they might know, but I don't think they're really, there's stuff with the sperm donation, but with this situation, different because she's getting paid and she knows who the father is so i'm not gonna say he's like you know kind of wrong it is an expensive donation yeah i don't want to have a relationship with this kid i understand so i told him look i understand that you want to meet but it's not going to work we are not going to be father and son so please don't try to push this i probably didn't say exactly that but pretty close he was quiet for a while but then said okay and hung up uh i thought this was pro this problem had ended but the next day the mother calls me and angry at how I destroyed this son's hope and look maybe I was too harsh but it was the truth am I really an asshole for this in my opinion okay so I'm very curious what's, before I say anything else it says you're the asshole having a kid isn't a problem you can just throw money at to make it go away you helped bring this kid into the world the very least you could do is give him a few hours of your time have no doubt that he won't be interested in striking up a relationship with an asshole like you but I can understand the curiosity of him wanting to meet his sperm donor. I somewhat agree with this person. I don't, again, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Do I think he's the asshole? No, but a little bit. And the only reason I say a little bit is because of how he kind of uh, communicated to the kid. Like, cause the kid reached out very, it seemed like very scared and all that stuff. He was being truthful, but it was probably just a little too blunt. I think that's where I think he's a little bit of the asshole. Because this person wants to say, you know, you brought a kid into this world, this, that, and the third. But it seems like they came to an agreement that he wouldn't be in the kid's life. He's just going to, you know, give you child support. So, yeah, it was just an expensive donation. Like, now at this point, instead of with the sperm bank, it's me and you. We came to the conclusion, I'm not going to be in this kid's life. You will get money to help raise a child. Boom, bam, boom. But I don't want to have any interaction with the child. So, it is what it is. Um, you know, and then it's talking about, like, you know, give him a few hours at the end of the day, it's like, it is up to him if he wants to or not. He's not obligated to give this child any of his time, honestly. Like, I mean, though, yes, this is his child. I'll give it that. It's just, it seems like, and the only reason I'm saying this is because it seemed like the, the mother and the father came to a conclusion that he would not really be in this person's, this child's life. That he would only just give, you know, find, you know, financial stability a little bit with child support, but that is about it and nothing else. So, you know again kind of like an expensive sperm donation really because he's paying at this point so this asshole like so i don't think he's an asshole in my opinion uh you're the asshole and a bad human being mm, from his emotionless replies i also think he might be a psychopath and see that, that's where it's like and i'm just reading some of these i'm just curious see that's where it's like i feel like a lot of people don't ever look on the other side of things where it's like you know obviously there's the blatant obvious one for most people where it's like bro you should probably look with you know try to get a communication relationship with this child this that and the third but it's like not everybody's like that shoot even people that have kids some people give them away you know or you know uh foster care and all that stuff because they financially can't help this child but then they might want to have a relationship but then some don't you know it is what it is it's in life like not everybody is ready to be a parent or even want to be a parent you know and but then they'll at least give the financial stability to some people want to do that honestly so it really does vary you know but then you also gotta look on the other side it looks like from the conversation again from the conversation that they came to a mutual agreement that he does not have to be there but give financial support so anything after that 
you know, it's up to him if he wants to. Again, for me, do I think he's asshole? No, I actually disagree with this one. If anything, I might think a little bit, again, in regards to his response to the child, that is where it's like a little bit, but it's like he was being truthful and he was being blunt. Um, he could have put it in a nicer way. That's the only thing where I'm like, you're being a little bit of an asshole. You could have put it in a nicer way, in my opinion. I mean, shoot, I'm blunt a lot of the times. Um, not for everything, but I can sometimes be a little too blunt to where it's like it might come off like I'm being an asshole. Um, not trying to, just it might not come off the best, and it don't, I don't really ever mean for it to. Uh, this situation, I don't think it's any different. I mean, you know, again, figured it out, yada, yada. He didn't want to do it. Again, I don't think he's the asshole, except for a little bit where in regards to the response to the child. That's where it's like, mm, you could have put it a little bit nicer. Or, honestly, you could have given him a couple moments of your time. That's where it's like, you know, could have given him some time. and or But you then also, you didn't have to. You probably didn't want to even see this child. So, which it seemed like. So, yeah, it's just a response. That's where I'm thinking a little bit of asshole, but everything else... I don't think he's an asshole. Let me let me know what you think in the comments. All right, that wasn't really too bad. Um, these were definitely interesting. Um, I don't remember the other few, but the last one I know he wasn't an asshole. At least in my opinion, it says asshole. They gave their reasonings, which is the obvious reasoning. But you know, for some people, there's also a different side of things where he just didn't want to be there. He just gave the financial support so she can be a single mother, and so it is what it is and the thing is they both came to a mutual agreement that they, they didn't want to be together so you know they don't want to be together cool and he didn't want to have a he didn't want to have a child so you know it is what it is they he at least did what some people don't do which is get the financial support so there's that um but other than that you know it is what it is um the mother hopefully she can help the child give that closure or you know give therapy whatever is needed but it is what it is um, I'm gonna go ahead and dip out. Love every last one of you guys. Um, again, yeah, it is what it is. You know, I, 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 I try to look on both sides a little bit, you know? Uh, but then also get my own little opinions because sometimes even my opinions aren't the best. They are not always the best. You know, y'all are gonna dis, y'all are gonna always, <laughs> y'all are gonna probably disagree with me here and there. So, you know, we're not gonna always agree. Um, but I love every last one of you guys. I want to thank y'all for being here. Thank you for the support. I'm gonna go ahead and dip out. Deuces, pieces, Reese's pieces. I had some Reese's pieces yesterday, y'all. I'm going to bring them in eventually at some point. Bye.